It is finally here. The news wire that we have all been waiting for for ages is finally here. Now, obviously, you can see from the title immediately, it does say Red Dead Online. However, we're going to be brushing over everything got to do with Red Dead on this news wire and just focusing on Grand Theft Auto 5 coming to PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X slash S on November 11th. So that is the date where the Xbox Series X slash S and the PlayStation 5 will get the expanded and enhanced update. As of right now, we obviously don't know what the size of it is. We don't really know exactly everything. However, we do have quite a few things announced in this newswire. So let's just jump right into it. So we can see here, an assortment of new updates for both GTA Online and Red Dead Online are on their way throughout May and the summer months. We are halfway through May and we still haven't received an update. So what this is telling us is that we could receive an update in the next coming two weeks, which would be amazing for the game, as that will also bring a lot more life back to the game coming towards summer and also people coming out of lockdown, as that would, in my eyes, seem like a good idea for Rockstar to do. Brings us some of the most frequently asked fan requested additions to each game along with a host of new items, quality of life updates and much more. So maybe they're actually finally listening to community and maybe they have been li listening to the community for years and years and it's just been building up to this massive, massive update that they're going to give us throughout the next coming weeks and months. But you can see here there are a couple things that they've announced here. So you got deadline return of the shataro so this is obviously going to be some type of event with the uh deadline event maybe we would get a mark 2 version of it seen as uh, sumo remix you might get a deadline remix we also have a stunt racing a cunning stunts event so whether that be an event week event month or even brand new races as far as i'm aware this picture right here is of an existing race i don't really know there's too many to think of but i think it is and a survival all new maps so there's going to be some brand new maps survival maps coming to the game which is very very exciting in los santos car culture is back on the streets in a big way with new opportunities for fans of performance and customization upgrades to get together with like-minded gearheads so maybe this is insinuating that there's a new way to do car meets as currently there's only really two ways to do car meets which is actually out in the world of free roam or by going to the casino and going to that public area where you can park your cars however only certain cars can go in there so maybe by the sounds of this this is a brand new way for people to actually do car meets which is overall interesting and we'll actually see how that goes as that is quite popular for people to do the renewed interest is bringing a new underground car meet into the area so this might insinuate again that we're getting a new property where you can buy specifically just for car meets and maybe there'll be some type of business got to do with vehicles like uh, import and export maybe something like that will be attached to this as well expect high stakes and high action as crews hit the streets to get hold of the latest vehicles on the hot list challenge each other in new races i will take part in series of multi-part robbery missions so could this potentially be pushing towards yet another heist update as multi-part robberies kind of sounds like you do preps you do setups and then you do the big take so maybe that could be a brand new heist on the horizon and on top of that the last sentence in this says all later this summer so that multi-part robbery is later this summer so whether that be a bunch of missions we will obviously find out later in the summer most likely if they do it do it at exactly uh summertime it will be within the august month so mark that in your calendar as well sometime within the august month we could expect some type a big maybe a big heist update which is very very exciting since the last one kai perico was an okay heist and but it could do some improvements maybe they did learn from that heist scrolling on down we see what looks to be a brand new car and also i don't really know what this area is some people might say it could be the arena the inside but me personally i think this is a brand new property you could potentially buy and then this is one of the new cars again i'm not that caught up with the new cars in the game but this does look like a new car and i'm guessing this could be a brand new property so you could drive your car in here and then you can bring them out one by one or everyone brings them out 
uh, and then you could obviously do them as a car meet, which overall would be quite interesting. Now here is where it gets really interesting as we have yet another date to mark down the calendars, May 27th. But however, let's just read the sentence before. To help gear up for GTA Online Summer Update, eight new stunt races will be added to the corners coming to GTA Online Stunt Series on May 27th. So we're getting eight brand new stunt races. Now me personally, I love stunt races. Can't get enough of them, so that will be very entertaining to have them to play around with. These new tracks will introduce an array of white knuckle thrills for stunt races. Now, this is just overall good news as stunt races are just good. People like them, and overall they're just popular in the game. Shortly thereafter, fans of the futuristic deadline mode will get seven new arenas in which you obliterate opponents. So it looks like we're getting a bunch of new maps, as you can then see again at the last sentence. Survival mode will also be expanded to new locations throughout Los Santos and Blame County. So it seems like we're getting brand new maps. So we're getting eight new stunt race maps, we're getting seven new futuristic deadline maps, and we are expanding the survival mode to Los Santos and Blame County, which is overall exciting news indeed. So scrolling on past the, all the Red Dead Online stuff, we get down to the and much more area. The expanded and enhanced versions of Grand Theft Auto 5 and Grand Theft Auto Online are arriving on PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X slash X with new features and more on November 11th, 2021. Again, mark that in your calendar. That is the date where we are getting something big. As an added bonus to summer updates on GT Online will include special benefits for players to take advantage of in these expanded and enhanced versions when they drop. So it seems like if you are already on PlayStation 5 or Xbox Series X, you're gonna get extra bonuses throughout the summer, which is obviously a beneficial to those who actually manage to get their hands on one. Plus, in honor of the upcoming 20th anniversary defining Grand Theft Auto 3, which by the way, 20 years, well done, Rockstar. I mean, there's been a couple bumps. There's been quite a few bumps, some bigger than others. But overall, congratulations for 20 years. We'll have even more fun surprises to share, including some specifically for GT Online players. Obviously, GT Online is way more successful than Red Dead, so they're going to focus on that mainly. While the standalone version of GT Online will be available to players on both platforms, this new standalone version to GT Online will be available for free exclusivity on PlayStation 5 players during the first three months. So it seems like PlayStation have some type of deal. However, reading that, it doesn't seem that all bad. I feel like after the three months, everyone, it seems like everyone will get it after the three months. So don't worry about that. PlayStation just seems like they have some sort of deal where they get it early. And PlayStation Plus members on PlayStation 4, make sure you claim your $1 million by visiting the PlayStation Store at the start of each month. So that's just the exact same as what we've already had for the past couple months. So finally, this newswire is wrapped up with, with much more to be revealed. Stay tuned to the Rockstar Newswire for details on future updates, weekly bonus field events, and more weeks and months ahead. So it seems Rockstar have a couple, if not one, very, very big update to come throughout the summertime and then towards November time, which it makes sense for Rockstar to wait until about November time, as that is the most likely chance when people could potentially also be getting uh, new consoles like the PlayStation 5 or the Xbox Series X slash S. And also a month after that, or a month and a bit after that, it'll be Christmas, so people would hopefully be buying the new console once again if it's in stock. But... Let me know what you guys think about this news wire. I'll leave it a link in the description if you wanted to read something more specific that I didn't really go into depth to, but I feel like I covered most of the areas. But I'll leave a link in the description if you want to go read this for yourself. But anyways, what did you guys think about this? How do you feel about this? How do you feel that they finally announced the expanded and enhanced version and much more details about it? Let me know with a comment down below. But anyways, go check some of my videos because there are plenty more on to go watch. And be sure you subscribe with the post notifications on so you don't miss out on all this future content as I will cover all of it as soon as it comes out with live streams and videos. But anyways, go check some of my videos because there are plenty more to go watch. Hope you all have a fan fucking fantastic rest of your day. And I'll see you guys in the next one.